So first off, we have Lyndall Keen. Um, I wish there was an audience here so they go, yay, Lyndall. <laughs> um, Lyndall's a professional model and influencer who's both verified on Instagram and TikTok. She has been a model with Wink since 2014 um, and has worked with brands like Aldi, Honey Burdette, Puma, St. Frock, Tommy Hilfiger, just to name a few. The list goes on and on and on. Um, she's traveled internationally to work for to work in Sri Lanka and China, and has recently walked in Miami Fashion Miami Swim Week, which is amazing. And those photos, I'm still like yeah, envying over. So thanks for coming in, Linda. We're super excited to have you here thank today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm pumped. It's my first podcast. Ooh, baby's first podcast. <laughs> I love it. We have Sunny Webster. Hey Anna. Hey, um, Sunny is a British. Um, Olympic weightlifter. He's taken his fitness training program online in addition to running seminars and workshops worldwide. He's worked with Nike, Adidas, or Adidas as they say in Australia, uh, Noble, and featured in Men's Health and Muscle and Fitness. Thanks so much for coming in, Sunny. Super excited to have you as well. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to doing this podcast with you both. Yeah. So, Lindell, if you had to describe or define what is an influencer... What would you say? I guess, oh gosh, put me on the spot. I think um, it's someone who has more knowledge or um, about a product or something before everyone else, maybe, mm -hmm. and they use their um, position and knowledge to, to share it on. Yeah. One of the biggest things for me with being an influencer or being able to influence a community is that whatever you put out there has to be positive. I think there's so much nowadays that's out there that's negative. It's not using influence for the right reason. So I think that's one of the biggest things for me, that it's positive with whatever th you know, you're influencing people on. So I guess expressing my journey so that people make less mistakes and learn from my experience. Mm. The, the amount of growth on TikTok is incredible, whereas on Instagram now, it's like if you get five followers a day, it's like, oh my God. It's man. really hard to get growth it's on It's really there hard now. now. You need to see the video though that got like went viral that got like oh yeah yeah there was like something like four million views which is in is probably something four and a half million views yeah. i think yeah. you were Here just it is. like we were leaving we were leaving this i think i'd just done a photo shoot and i was like let's do this one take yeah and someone else was saying that to me the other day with with tiktok as well just putting up anything like anything just because you never know it will go viral some of the videos that get ridiculous interaction on tiktok are like you're like really really like, yeah really? and that's like millions of views so yeah. put it up guys well as of early 2019 tiktok is the third most downloaded app globally wow so it's, it's wow yeah and um as of feb uh, 2019 tiktok hit 1 billion downloads beating instagram and facebook and in, in app stores so there's that growth for you there yeah wow. doesn't surprise me um 60% of the U.S. audience of TikTok is between the ages of 16 and 24. I don't imagine that that's much different in Australia. Um, the average user opens the app eight times a day. Wow. That's a lot. You probably do more. <laughs> <laughs> well, some days I don't even go on it at all. But then yeah. I'll get in a mood. I'm like, I'm going to make TikToks. And yeah. then I'll go and I'll make like three videos. But you have to be in that mind frame, don't you? Your creative yeah. mind frame to do them and just knock them out. Yeah. Because yeah, you have to really think a little bit about them. But I think, go on. But yeah, well, sometimes if I'm scrolling TikTok, I'm laughing. Because TikTok is different to Instagram where you can be like silly and funny and there's a bit of like quirkiness to TikTok, brands can really capitalize on getting content into that market where it's not as saturated. Yeah. Because on Instagram, it's like every other post I'm getting and with the algorithm as well is like sponsored post, sponsored post, yep. sponsored post and being sold to all the time. Whereas on TikTok, like you said, you're just like, oh, this is fun. But this is fun. I think like you said, if, if a company comes to you and it's their goal to get reach or, you know, to a particular audience using TikTok to get four million views, you know what I mean? Wouldn't cost you very much compared to getting four million reach on Instagram. Exactly. The average TikTok session is nearly five minutes, which is longer than Snapchat or Instagram. Wow. Um, and 90% of TikTok users visit the app more than once a day. 
And in terms of branding, one of the earliest branded hashtag challenges, because we all know that TikTok really focuses on a challenges. lot of the uh, challenges and yeah. those, that's like their viral content, right? Um, was um, guess. And they did the hashtag in my denim challenge. No way. Yeah. Cool. Some of your dress ones that you've done when you change your outfits and stuff like that and you jump up and down and, you know, th those yeah. sort of things, I think is, that's perfect for a fashion brand or something to do because it's short, fun yeah. content, you know, and you get a real look. I went into Glam like. Corner to try on some dresses for Melbourne Cup and I had four or five different dresses. I'm like, Sunny, can you just film this for me? And I stood there and spun around and each spin, when I edit it together, it looked like I just snapped into a new dress. Oh, I love that. And that got like 40,000 views or something. Yeah, but I think that's, you know, that's it's, perfect. Yeah. Which one? This one? The one down with the fascinator on my head. Oh, no, yeah, no. a little bit of a... Uh, on the left. Yeah, I haven't even done my hair and makeup. I just did it. I think that's a great way, you know, for a brand in a short 15 second video or whatever to, to get a real look for the outfits. You know? Yeah. I think like everything on Instagram now is so polished. I won't... That's post it. like a video really unless it's filmed with my proper camera the audio is perfect even getting to the point now where you need to subtitle because 70 percent of the instagrams listen to without any sound yeah and it's getting to the point now where you have to go so high production to get the sort of reach or interaction you're looking for whereas this is so organic and so silly that yeah. Lindell's actually funnier than me as well so whenever i need like extra Oh, <laughs> extra, extra humor, funniness. Then, yeah, we just stick, li stick Linda on. Hashtag girlfriend inspo. <laughs> so what is next for you guys? Anything coming up? Planning? Well, we're considering something if they plan to run another season. The Amazing Race. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I yeah. would we love that. kill each other. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we'd, we've been talking about The Amazing Race. We'd love to do a TV show or something to, together. There's, like I said, we've been waiting to... For the right sort of thing. For the right thing, 